So this is the spindle I selected for my build. This is the usual suspect Chinese made 2.2 kilowatt water-cooled spindle. It's a uh, three horsepower, 220 volts and eight and a half amps. I went ahead and got all three collet sizes. So I have one eighth, one quarter and one half inch. Uh, this collet size is uh, ER20 for all three of these. And uh, obviously this is uh, water-cooled. I chose water-cooled mostly to avoid any issues with uh, dust collection as the air-cooled spindles tend to throw a lot of extra air right around the, the, the mill end. And so I wanted to avoid that. And so with that, that of course requires us to make a cooling system. And so these are the parts that I've selected. These are uh, for cooling CPUs, and by definition, are ridiculously expensive. Uh, I tried to keep it as cheap as I could. Uh, I think I did okay, but I think you could save a lot of money if you went the uh, aquarium pump. There's this really seemingly reliable uh, chinesium water pump that's available at 12 volts. Uh, but this is the route I went. So I chose this Alpha Cool uh, reservoir and pump combo. This is a double uh, five and a quarter drive bay reservoir. Uh, they also make a single one, but it was difficult to know how big, how, how, how much cooling is needed. You know, it's one of the things that it's hard to find any published stats about these spindles and how much heat they produce. So I'm guessing that it's probably less than a, you know, overclock CPU on a gaming machine. So anyway, I think this is going to work, uh, but if it doesn't, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, so then I went and got a 120 millimeter single radiator and the fan to go with it. I think it's the middle of the road as far as CFM, uh, but I did get a bearing, a good bearing fan. Um, and then the tubing, the tubing I went with is, is the 3 8 inner diameter, 5 8 outer. And I think once again, it's totally overkill. It's going to be some good flow. Um, one of the things I did notice is that the, these, uh, compression fittings that come with the spindle are actually for a quarter inch. And so somehow I'll have to mate that up to my larger tubing. Uh, these are metric threads on here. So the threads that go into the spindle are M8 1.0. So we'll see if I can either, I'll have to either step down in size or get a new fitting. We'll see how that goes. And then I got these overpriced uh, compression fittings <laughs> uh, to help with the tubing management. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so now the job is to design uh, a way to attach this in a nice and elegant manner. So I guess you'll come along for the ride. We'll see how it goes. This is the SketchUp model of my CNC machine. This is the gantry, obviously, and this is the Z-axis. I bought this Z-axis kit from CNC Router Parts. I have a lot of the components of the front hidden here to focus on this back plate. But it's a pretty nice design. It's a screw drive and it has two linear motion bearings on either side. And the design allows the stepper motor to be mounted on top here and the plate that goes up and down does not carry the weight of the stepper motor. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, the task at hand here is, of course, the where to put this cooling equipment. And so I I modeled the, the, the reservoir and the radiator and the fan here pretty crudely, but nevertheless. Uh, and my intent is to fabricate these two brackets out of 12 gauge steel. I've made several other components to the machine out of this steel so I'm, I'm used to working with it. Um, I think I like the design of the the mount for the reservoir but I think I can make the this one with for the radiator fan a little better by just making it a Z here and so I'll sandwich the mounting plate between the fan and the radiator. I'll have to be careful of the screw length as the design of the radiator a lot essentially allows you to pierce the, the radiator if you were to use screws that were too long. So I'll have to be careful about that. And then I think I also may angle this. It, there's no reason for it to be straight up and down. 
and so just to reduce the height, I may come out at an angle or, uh, with, with both of them. And so that's basically the idea I have. So we'll see how the actual implementation goes. All right, thanks for watching.